Hey guys, welcome back to High Yield Intraday Trading. I hope everyone of you is doing good. So before we start discussing today's topic, let me request you all to subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button here. Once you click on it, you will get the confirmation on the left bottom corner. Post you subscribe to my channel. Also make sure to press the bell icon and click on all. You will get the confirmation on the left bottom corner so that whenever I upload a video, you get the notification about the same without any messes. Also, I would to request you all to subscribe to my telegram channel with the name HYIT intraday calls because I share a lot of things over there and it might be helpful to you in some way or the other all right so before we start with today's discussion please allow me to mention about an offer that will reduce your capital requirements for trading various segments like the NSC futures and the MCX futures Okay, talking about the NSE features, you can trade contracts like Nifty, Bank Nifty, SGX Nifty, etc. with just 6,000 rupees for one lot. Whereas in MCX, you can trade one lot of crude oil, copper, natural gas, etc. for just 4,000 to 6,000 rupees. Okay, for gold and silver, it will cost you around 10,000 rupees per lot. And not only this, you will be happily surprised when you get to know the other features that are being offered. I can't give you all the details here as there are many, but I will surely share all the details post you get in touch with me. In today's scenario, if you want to trade one lot of crude oil, you need to have a minimum of 1.6 lakhs as your capital. That is 1 lakh 60,000. Similarly, for Nifty, for just one lot, you need to have at least 1 lakh as your capital. Now replace 1.6 lakhs with 4,000 to 6,000 rupees and 1 lakh with 6,000 rupees. It does make a lot of difference to a retail trader like you and me, right? So that's the help I want to extend or offer. And if you are interested, then you can get in touch with me on the details that are being shown on the screen and we can take it forward. All right, so this is a known fact that whatever action that happens in the stock market, they are triggered by the FIIs and the DIIs. So whenever the FIIs or the DIIs buy or sell a stock, that respective stock either goes up or falls down. Okay, now depending on the stock that is making the movement, the index also gets affected. The nifty also gets affected now please remember that it's not the right understanding that only nifty can move the stocks the stocks can also move nifty okay so it is always both ways round okay if the stock is a heavyweight stock and if the fii's and the dii's are making some buying or selling in that particular stock then undoubtedly it can move nifty accordingly Okay, and most importantly, the FIIs and the DIIs actually trade on those top 50 stocks. So in this video, we will actually talk about a few things like where to find the FII and the DII buying and selling information, how to, uh, how to anticipate the further moves of the stocks using that data, in which type of trading can this be used, and how exactly to relate or link the FII and the DII buying and selling information so that a trade can be taken up. Okay, so the first thing first, where to find the data. So I have put in the URL in the description section for both the NSE India website and also for the money control website. So you can please go ahead and click on it. And once you land up on the page, it looks like this. Okay, so this is the NSC India website where we get the information about the FII and the DIIs buying and selling. Okay, as you can see here. Okay, so this is for 1st September. This is the buy value, this is the sell value, and this is the net value for FII. And if you talk about DII, this is the buy value, this is the sell value, and this is the net value for 1st of September for DIIs. Okay, so 1st of September, the reason why it is 1st of September is because this data is extracted by the end of the day after the market is over. So today is 22nd of September, sorry, I'm so sorry. Today is 2nd of September 2022. So you will not get the data for 2nd of September 2022 now because the market is live right now. The time right now is 12.25 p.m. Indian Standard Time. So the market is live. 
right so only after the market is over you will get the data for 2nd of september that is today i hope that is clear okay now this is one of the websites where you can find this data if you want to get a more clearer data then switch to the money control site okay so this is the money control site i have actually increased the font that is why it is looking so big uh, this is the original size but i have increased it a bit so that the data can be clearly seen by you guys okay so this is the page from money control from where you will get the information about the fii's and dis buying and selling okay now here again the data is for first september this was the net buy sell and this was the net uh, sorry this was the net buy sell for fii and this was the net buy sell for dis and as you can see it clearly the fii's were in red because the selling was more and the dis are in green because the buying was more yesterday okay so that is how you read the data so this gives an overall idea about in which direction can the market go. But again, please remember that this data is available only after the market hours, just to repeat. Okay, so if you are depending on this data to take up the trades, then you have to take the trades on the next trading session, that is tomorrow. Okay, that is one point. Second point is, by seeing the numbers, what exactly do you get? Right, so I'm seeing the number. I see that FII is in red. I see that DII is in green. So what is the output? What exactly do I get? Now to explain this, let's get down, okay? Now here, as you can see, you get the complete data for the rest of the months. And if you, let's for example, let's click on August 2022, okay? If you click on August, you get the complete data on a date-wise basis, starting right from 1st of August to 30th of August okay and as you can see here this is the net buy sell for FII and this is the net buy sell for DII now what has been seen is there are three scenarios first scenario is when we see that the FII and the DII data are contradicting like FII's are in green but DII's are in red if we get such numbers then uh, just a moment guys I'm so sorry about that. Okay, so what I was saying was point number one. So there were three scenarios. There are three scenarios. First scenario is when we when you see that the FII data is in green and the DIIs are in red, or FIIs are in red and DIIs are in green. Okay, so on those days, you know that the market is not trending. Okay, the market will go up, come down, go up, come down like that. Okay, so it is not trending. But when you see that the FII and the DII data are both in green, on that day, the market should have surely gone up. And the third scenario is if the FII and the DII are both in red, then on that day, surely market would have fallen. Okay, now let's see that on the chart. Okay, let's find out a day when the data is the same for both of them. Uh, 22nd of August, as you can see here, right? 22nd of August, 2022, FII's were in red, DII's were also in red. So let's hit the chart for 22nd August, 2022. This is the one day chart of Nifty and we are searching for 22nd August. That is this day. Okay, let me bring in the pencil. So this is 22nd of August, 2022. And as you can see here, this is a big red candle. And the whole day the selling was going on because the FII and the DII were both in the selling mode. Simple. Okay, now if we talk about the range, the range is from uh, uh, 17,690 to 17,460. So 470, 570, 670. It was around a 220 to 230 rupees move in a single day. And it was falling right from the starting of the day, it was falling. Okay, so that is the power of FIIs and the DIIs if both are selling. Okay, now let's try to find a day when they were uh, buying. I don't see any here. Let's go to July 
and let's find a day where both were buying 18th july 18th july was the one where uh, FIIs were also uh, buying and DIIs were also buying. Okay, let's hit 18th July on the charts. 18th of July. Yeah, this is the candle. Okay, 18th of July. Let me bring it up here. And let me bring in the pen. Okay, so this is the candle for 18th of July 2022. And it is again a big green candle for the simple reason because the FIIs and the DIIs were both in the buying mode. Okay, so that is all you need to know about this particular page. How to read this page. That's it. No rocket science, nothing complex in it. You have to just see whether FIIs and DIIs are in green or red and whatever I just explained that is the only thing that you need to know about this particular page okay now let's get back to the slide okay now you have the data and also you anticipated in which direction can the market likely be moving but how about the stocks if I'm a trader who trades in equity cash or equity futures, then how will I relate this finding with the stock's movement and trade it? So this is important to know, right? Because just by finding in which direction the market will move, we simply cannot take up the trades in the stocks. Because as I have told it many times, not all the stocks follow Nifty's direction. You will see many examples wherein the Nifty and the stocks can be found moving in opposite directions. So here it becomes important to catch the right stock that is following the market's direction. Okay, so basically the FIIs and the DIIs, they push in their money in the top 50 stocks most of the time. I would say 75 to 80% of the time. So what you need to do here is you need to study those 50 stocks on a daily basis and you need to see which stocks are really going up, in which stocks the delivery based buying is happening, in which stocks the incremental buying is happening, what is the turnover of a particular stock, uh, what is the delivery percentage, what is the delivery volume and stuff like that. Okay, see, if you want to put in your money in something, in something, Okay, to earn more money out of that, then it becomes mandatory for you to collect some valid information about that particular thing, right? So when I say that you have to study those 50 stocks on a daily basis, I don't mean every day. I mean, it should not be for a lifetime. Okay, what I mean is you have to study and observe those stocks every day for at least 15 to 20 days. So that you know for which stock the price is going up and in which stocks the deliveries are high and stuff like that. The points that I just mentioned before some time. So you have to study those stocks for at least 15 to 20 days. Then only you will start correlate, uh, correlating stuff so that, okay, out of those 50 stocks, there are only 15 or 20 stocks which are getting high delivery percentage, which are getting high delivery volumes and uh, in which the incremental buying is happening, in which the delivery based buying is happening. So there are only 15 to 20 stocks in which these things are happening and the rest of the 30 stocks are not reacting to these things. So let me go ahead and avoid those 30 stocks and let me just, uh, let let me just include uh, or uh, let me just have an eye on these 15 to 20 stocks only right so th this this kind of summary can be prepared by you only when you follow the stocks for 15 to 20 days or maybe a month okay and only after you collect these information for 15 to 20 days you will be able to link the things and then you can take a decision as to which stock to trade on i hope you're getting the point okay now that was one perspective. Now, another thing that needs to be taken care of while shortlisting the stocks is that we need to see in which stock the bulk deals are happening. Okay, now bulk deal is might be a new word for you, but for the guys who don't know about it, uh, how to explain it? Okay, bulk deals are nothing but they are just another trades where the total quantity of share shares that are being bought or sold is more than 0.5% of the total number of shares of the company. 
that is the explanation for bulk deals and this is where you find the data let me get on to the web page here and this is the money control site sorry money control web page where you get the information about bulk deals you see here it's written right bulk deals sorry about that okay so here is, is the information about bulk deals and you will see a lot of other segments like block deals major deals mf deals larger deals and and things like that but please don't care about them you have to concentrate only on bulk deals and when you scroll down you will get all the information about the bulk deals that happened for the day like the date the company the client the transaction whether it was a buy or a sell trade what is the quantity what is the price under price you will get two tabs traded and closed so at what price was the bulk deal traded and at what price was the bulk deal closed so this is all the information that you need okay now getting back to the slide now this is uh, i will also go ahead and put this uh, the link to this website uh, in the description section so that you can have an easy access to it okay so what i was where was i yeah so that that was the website now okay now most of the time okay most of the time because of the bulk deals the stocks might get higher delivery percentage or higher volume but those bulk deals might not have been done by the FIIs and the DIIs and this is the exact reason why we are having an eye on the bulk deal as well so if there is a bulk deal that is happening for a particular stock that stock might get a higher delivery percentage or a higher delivery volume right but it is not mandatory that that bulk deal has been traded by the FIIs and the DIIs somebody else might have traded it as well it is possible it is very much possible okay so in such cases the information becomes wrong and if the information itself is wrong then obviously the output has to be wrong so in order to avoid this the best thing that can be done here is that remove the stocks from your shortlisted stocks which are in bulk deals okay so for the stocks where the bulk deals are happening remove those stocks from your shortlisted stock list as simple as that okay so this is something that needs to be taken care of okay so once you find the stocks it's time for you to go ahead and apply your technicals that you use for swing trading or positional trading and then initiate a trade and the point to be noted here is this is not for day traders this video is absolutely not for day traders okay i mean we will not have enough time and data to do all these things if you are an intraday trader okay so this is purely for the traders who are into swing trading or positional trading all right so these are the pointers that i wanted to share with you guys in this video okay and i hope it helps you in some way for sure the way or the process of implementation is a bit time consuming but that should not be a big deal for a long term trader because they normally are used to such processes okay so that's it from my end guys and for the guys who have not watched my previous video i have put in the video card on the top right corner of the video the i symbol that you see there you can click on it and watch my previous video and as always we request you all to like and subscribe to my youtube channel and also please do not miss the ending of this video as you will get some more information about hyit that might be helpful to you in some way or the other and please feel free to ask your questions or queries if any in the comment section and i will surely reply back to them and also please do not forget to like this video if you liked it so that's all from my end and i will see you all later hope you all will stick back happy trading and take care of yourselves bye bye